Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to share with you my top five biggest mistakes that I've made with Go High Level. Mistakes I wish I would have avoided and I wish someone else made a video like this back when I started. Now the mistakes that I'm going to go over in this video are actually pretty common and I see these a lot with beginners. So hopefully by the end of the video, you guys are going to know exactly what to avoid and what not to do to help you save a ton of money and time. But before you get started, if you guys haven't already, I would appreciate it if you subscribe down below. And now let's jump into it. So the first mistake that I made when first starting out is wasting a lot of time on branding so this is going to be the business name domain logo website llc etc if you guys are just starting out you want to spend weeks or even months coming up with a logo or a website the whole goal is to get started as soon as possible so you can start signing clients and start making money and a lot of this shouldn't really take you that long to come up with a business name is going to be very easy thanks to ai tools so we can literally go to chatgpt and we can ask it give me a list of software business names i can use and then click enter and just like that chatgpt is going to give me a bunch of names that i can choose from and this is going to give me a bunch of ideas if you don't like any of these you can just come down here type in more so let's just use this one right here logic loom now when it comes to logo this should also not take you that long we can use a platform like canva and then go over here to these logo templates and we can type in software and just like that canva is going to give you a bunch of logo ideas that you can choose from so you can just come in here see what type of design that you like and then you can just choose it at our business name right here which was logic loom make this look better move this over here and just like that we can download this and now you have a logo all of your branding for your business can be done in less than a day even for a website you actually don't even really need one when you're first starting out. It's not like you're going to be signing clients through your website. You're going to be signing clients through doing cold outreach at the very beginning. So your website isn't even going to really serve you. To make a website, you can just use one of Go High Level's templates. Or if you do go through my free course, I do give away a free website as well, where all you have to do is slap your logo to it, change up the colors, and just like that, you're going to have a website for your business. And don't worry about making the most fancy website. Like I said before, none of this matters, especially when you're first starting out. And then next, an LLC. You shouldn't even be worrying about getting an LLC at all until you're making money. If you're not even making money and you're just starting, you shouldn't even be thinking about that. So all of your business branding can be done in just a few days, if not just one day. And if you're worried about choosing a name too soon or you chose a logo that you're not sure about, you can easily change all of that later on in the future. It's not going to be a big deal. But like I said before, you just want to get started and sign some clients before you even think about changing anything. So if you guys are just starting out, don't do what I did and spend a whole lot of time on this because that's going to be a lot of time that you don't get back. And you want to make money as soon as possible before your free trial ends. So the next mistake is not knowing how to fully use go high level now, of course you don't have to be an expert but you are going to want to have a basic understanding of how this software works and how you can even help a business owner with the software now i get it go high level has a ton of features and you might be feeling overwhelmed when you first start out and there just seems to be a lot but little by little you're going to start understanding go high level and how each feature works and there's also a ton of resources that you can use to learn go high level so you can learn from youtube you can even learn from go high level resources so you can go through go high levels courses any documents you can even jump on kickoff calls where someone will help you out and show you how to use the platform. So the best way that I was able to learn Go High Level was simply by using the software and going through every single tab, every single feature and playing around with everything, testing things out. So I would literally go tab by tab. So I would start with the first tab, which was the launch pad. And I would come through here, click this link right here and download the app. Click right here to see how you can connect the Google My Business. Click right here and just go through all of these buttons and see what they do and how to connect them. And then I would also go through the dashboard and see what this was about. And at the beginning, I didn't really understand it until I came to opportunity and realize that the opportunities that you add in here are going to affect the dashboard and some of the stats right here. And then I realized it will also give you a bunch of other reporting as well. After that, I went to the next tab to conversations, practice sending messages, clicked over here, practice sending emails, going through each of these buttons, seeing what they do, going through each of these up here and seeing what they do, and then going to the next tab, clicking on every single button, going to the next tab, clicking on every single button up here, all of these, and then all of these up here. And that's probably going to be the best way that you learn this software, especially if you're a hands-on type of person you learn best when actually doing because the more you click around the more you practice the more you're going to understand the software so if you're a complete beginner that's what i would recommend again there's a lot of resources that you can use to learn go high level and go high level support will help you out as well now you do want to be careful with this this right here is a double-edged sword because you don't want to be trapped in the learning cycle where you're just learning 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 and you're not actually doing you're not actually taking action it feels like you're working it feels like you're making progress because you're watching all these videos you're reading all of this content you're practicing using go high level you're making test funnels and websites etc and all this is going to make you feel like you're working and you're moving the needle forward we are really not because you're not going out you're not finding clients and you're not making money so don't waste a ton of time doing this like i said before you don't have to be an expert you just need a basic understanding of this platform and a basic understanding on how you can help a business owner so the next big mistake that i made and i see a lot of new beginners make is offering too many features all at once i remember my first couple of demo calls i would literally have a huge presentation that went over every single feature of go high level and since go 
high level is an amazing platform some of them actually did sign up with me but a lot of them were just absolutely overwhelmed with the amount of features and this just made them very confused just remember back to when you first started out how overwhelmed you might have felt with all of go high levels features remember how confused you were and you didn't really understand anything and this is exactly how your client will feel if you're just throwing a ton of features at them and even if you do sign a couple clients doing this you're gonna have a high churn rate meaning they're not gonna stick around for a long time if someone doesn't know how to use your software and they're just feeling overwhelmed they're not gonna continue paying for the software so they're just gonna cancel also the business owner might not need everything so you don't want to be offering them like five features that they don't even need like if a business owner isn't really looking to sell courses you're not gonna really want to sell them on that feature now in the future once your client understands your software and they're using the few features that you sold them you can eventually upsell them on other features but at the beginning you want to keep it as simple as possible offer them a website offer them reviews offer a chat widget maybe offer one to three things that complement each other so just remember that the confused mind doesn't buy so the final mistake that I want to go over which I personally didn't make but I did feel like making this mistake was giving up when things get hard because you will get tempted to do so and move on to the next shiny object it's inevitable that you're gonna be tempted it's inevitable that you're gonna face roadblocks because starting a new business is going to be challenging a lot of people will get distracted by seeing other online businesses out there and they're gonna feel like the grass is greener and that they should just quit what they're doing right now and start pursuing that business model but what they don't know is that every single business model will work it's only a matter of time and if you don't put in time you're not gonna see success in any business and all the knowledge and skills that you learn to start this business it's all gonna be for nothing because now you have to go on learn a new business model learn new skills learn new knowledge and pretty soon the excitement of that new business model is going to wear off as well and you're going to feel like quitting again and chasing the next shiny object the next new business model and it's very important that this is a phase that you're going to feel with every single business so when you hit this phase when you hit some challenges and you feel like giving up just realize it's going to be even worse if you quit and start something else time really is your friend and if you stick this out for long enough there's absolutely no way you don't succeed so don't give up stay persistent and I promise you that you will succeed with this so guys that's gonna be it for this video those are the top five mistakes that I see new beginners make and those are the same mistakes that I made if you can avoid these five mistakes you're gonna save a lot of money and most importantly you're gonna save a lot of time because time is money and if you guys are just starting out right now you guys are on the free trial if you can avoid these mistakes you're gonna be able to make enough money to cover your free trial so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some value from it if you guys haven't already I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one